Of all the cool sounds that one can produce, vocal effects and voice-like sounds have always been some of my favorites. The expressive power of the human voice has profoundly impacted the way I think about music. However, I've seen that many people have a hard time getting the information they need to harness this power, especially in unorthodox or creative ways. And when this information is available, it's often presented in a platform-specific fashion, which makes it hard to use if you don't have that particular platform. I come to you now to address these issues. Hi, my name is Shal, and I'm going to take you on a journey into the world of... Box FX. In this series, I will talk about the various tools and techniques that emulate or modify the human voice. Some of the effects I plan to cover include vocoders, I am a vocoder. Beep, boop. Double tracking. Double tracking. Manual pitch correction. I'm not going to say it. And many others, as well as voice-like sounds like talking basses, <laughs> low-pass filters, <laughs> bit crushing, <laughs> and more. The rule is, if it's talky, I can talk about it. I will cover how to achieve these sounds and discuss how they work, the science behind them, and any important considerations that go into their use. While I'll be using FL Studio 11 in this series, the techniques I will demonstrate will be platform agnostic, unless noted otherwise, so that you can replicate them using whatever digital audio workstation or audio equipment you have access to. My first two tutorials will cover basic voice recording and mixing, to help you get started right away. Then, I will go into more detail about getting a great vocal sound. After that, I'll move on to different effects, starting with some of the simpler ones and working from there. I'll also occasionally discuss standalone plugins as they relate to a particular vocal sound. And now, a bit about myself. I've been an amateur mixing engineer for almost two years now. I'm more or less self-taught thanks to lots of practice and help from online tutorials. However, I'm by no means an expert. So while I'm going to try and teach you something new, please don't take my word as the be-all and all of vocal effects. That being said, I know a thing or two about getting good results with sound. And while I may not be a pro, my results speak for themselves. Ugh, you're such a dork. Hey, I like a good pun. A few other things. First, while the methods and practices that I'll be showing you are not patented or privately owned, I will make an effort to give credit where it is due and direct you to the people that I've learned from if you would like to know more. Second, I'd like this series to be as much a dialogue with you as it is a way for me to share my knowledge. As such, if you'd like to request a tutorial on a specific vocal effect, voice like sound, or something similar, please feel free to send me a message. Third, I'm mainly directing these videos toward people who are relatively inexperienced with mixing and recording techniques. Therefore, I'll include mixing tips and tricks that I've learned in my experience to help the newer people get on the right track. If you're not as new to mixing, feel free to watch anyway because you might learn something new. Finally, many vocal effects are created using specific pieces of premium hardware or software. I have access to some of these tools, but there are many that I currently do not own. Because of this, the tutorials for these specific tools will be delayed until I can purchase and learn them. If I get a lot of requests for a plugin or hardware module that I don't have, I'll let you know. If you think other people would be interested in what I have to offer, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, or whatever else you use. If you're interested in seeing more updates as they come out, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be starting my mini-series on voice recording and mixing in a few weeks. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. Box FX. Oh,